So Richard, tell me why you're so passionate about seafood. Well, you know, I'm the owner, custodian of one of uh, England's probably greatest uh, seafood restaurant, Bentley's in Piccadilly. So, you know, I think uh, it comes with great responsibility. So therefore, I'm a very passionate individual about what we do. We're a wild seafood restaurant, so which is kind of unusual as well because that's what we do. And the only farmed organic piece of fish you'll find here is probably the smoked salmon. Uh, the rest is wild uh, fish from a lot of day boats from different parts of Britain, Jersey, and of course one of the greatest selection of oysters I think in any any oyster bars in London. Mm -hmm. Okay, which encompasses Scotland, England, Jersey, uh, and all of Ireland, North and South. You've been here for ten years, am I right in saying? Yeah, we're just heading into the, the you know our ten years, and not only that, the restaurant is heading into a hundred years next year in two thousand and sixteen, which is you know it's a very proud moment because. You know, I've been, you know, 26 years ago, I was head chef here, and now I'm the owner and custodian of Bentley. So, you know, it's a very proud moment, and I'm, very, I'm a very proud owner of Bentley, so I must say. And uh, have you noticed over those 10 years, well, maybe 26 years, have you noticed a lot of changes in tastes and attitudes towards seafood? Well, I think over the last 26 years, you know, the tastes uh, in seafood has changed. People are a lot more ambitious. They're willing to eat fish on the bone and uh, to see it whole roasted. So yeah, I've absolutely seen a complete opening to a complete another generation and another huge enthusiasm spill into the, the wild seafood restaurant business. Uh, people are a lot more uh, interested on what seasonal varieties of fish should they be eating. You know what I mean? The, you know, from they often ask me, Richard, you know what I mean, are these from deep sea? three week or day boats you know what I mean so you know we, we're asked a lot of difficult questions and therefore I, we, we feel we're heading into a very responsible area now of just using what is what is there and being told not to use that species then we're very willing to take it off the menu okay do you have a favorite species or a favorite meal a favorite dish? I, I, I honestly think a piece of wild salmon for breakfast to me is it's more than heaven a mug of tea some wheat and bread, salty butter, and a big lump of wild salmon for breakfast. I'm telling you, I, I, I would, I would, I would, I would, ah, oh, crawl to anywhere in the world for it. I just love things like that. I, uh, you know, and, and I love fish for breakfast. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the whole idea of bacon, eggs, salsa, da, 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 which is wonderful and great. You want that. But having a nice piece of whiting, even a few fillets of herring or mackerel, served with a bit of soda bread and a nice mug of tea. Oh, God, pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Obviously, Bentley is very famous for oysters. Can you remember the first time you tasted an oyster? Yeah, I, I, I tasted an oyster. Possibly, uh, I was uh, in Ireland, I was probably 15 or 16. And I have to say, I just didn't get it. You know what I mean? There's no question about it. I just didn't get it. And I went, God, stones with slugs in them. You know what I mean? Really, it was the only thing I could remember about an oyster. And I forgot about them till to another two years till I tasted there when I lived in the Netherlands. I tasted the Frisian uh, there up in the north of Holland and down there, and it goes into Germany, the Frisian Islands. And they have a very similar oyster to Colchester and uh, Dorset and, or Colchester and Mersey. And it's the flat, the edgeless. And it was my first time of going, wow, these, these taste good. This is very special. Mm -hmm. But they did come at a price tag, even in the Netherlands. So they were a, they were a rich man's supper, even in those days. <laughs> You've always had a lot of career highlights, but one of them I would imagine was uh, the opportunity to cook for the Queen. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about that? How did well, you know, it's unusual. I've cooked for the Queen twice, really. Uh, privately, I've, uh, the Queen has been to one of my restaurants, uh, and uh, which is very unusual. She's, uh, you know, I think every ten years she eats in one or two, maybe, and that's about it. But, uh, you know, I think I served the Queen her first risotto, uh, so I can probably say that. So, you know what I mean, really? Uh, so, you know, it's, it's always great. You know, things come, you know, we've cooked for kings and queens and Denmark and uh, the Sweden, they've been in Bentley. So we, we get a lot of very interesting, high profile people. But, you know, everyone knows why they're here in Bentley's and it's to enjoy themselves. And that's what it's about. And, you know, I mean, we don't make too much of a scene for anyone. Everyone feels very private and they can have a good time. But we don't make it rarefied that they come to some private member's bar or restaurant that it becomes, you know, we, we don't want to, we want all our guests to feel very, very pleased for making the choice of coming here. Brilliant. Richard Corrigan, thank you very much. Thank you very much.